Iron Man, Lucky Lancer, ready for more Ponza action. That's right, I'm back. Old Lance here, ready for you. But more importantly, my name. Well, my name is Lance, but my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. Uh, that is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTGO, and MTGA. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, please consider subscribing. Or don't do either one, because what kind of a person would do that, right? What the hell's going on here? Hang on. I just noticed. All right, there we go. <laughs> For whatever reason, my camera frame was a little weird there. Uh, technical error fixed. Um, you may already notice while I was dealing with that, that I do play modern, or I play magic, and probably modern. And when I play Magic the Gathering, I prefer playing modern. And when I play modern, I play one of five decks somewhat coherently. Those five decks are Jund, Boros Burn, Humans, Grixis, Dash Shadow, and Gruul Ponds of Midrange. That's what's on your screen right now. It is my favorite deck. It's the one I play most often. I enjoy it the most. And I've played it nine straight weeks. Nine straight weeks. And uh, it's been quite the ride. It's actually been a good ride. Okay? Done quite well with it. Um... And I just grind through leaves without hope. Just just grind for the sake of grind, right? <laughs> just there's really no objective. We're just going for it. Just fuck it. I got nothing better to do. Uh, weather for Ravensdale. Conditions are rain shower with a temperature of 44 degrees. The wind is blowing from the north at 2 miles per hour. And the current humidity is 91%. Don't really like north winds. I like east winds. My trees bend better when they're in the east. But 2 miles an hour, I mean, I didn't even know it was windy out there. Two miles per hour, you ain't going to notice that. That's slower than even me walking. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, special announcement here. Uh, kind of special, but I'm talking about it all week. There's no stream tomorrow. I will be back on Monday after the stream. Also, after nine straight weeks, I'm going to hang up Ponza for at least a week. Definitely a week. And next week, we're playing Jund. That's right. Getting into Jund. First time I've played Jund in nine weeks. And um, looking forward to it. And we'll be back to Ponza. And I'm planning on playing my other decks too. That right. Boros Burn, Humans, Grixis, Death Shadow. I all might be making appearances pretty soon. For better or for worse. All right. Now, I we did, got to update this. We did go up one subscriber on YouTube. So, thank you very much. We're now at 123 subscribers on YouTube and 95 followers on Twitch and still three subscribers on Twitch. So shout out to those 95 followers. Shout out to those 123 subscribers on YouTube. And a very special shout out to the three subscribers on Twitch giving me their hard earned money. Like that's going way above and beyond. Like really, seriously guys, that's crazy. And also a special thank you to anybody who watches any of this because it's just it's just mediocre gameplay at best. Just rambling shenanigans constant, right? And uh, so, hope you guys have been enjoying it. Uh, I'm currently 1-0 in this league. And uh, hoping to go 5-0. So, let's see how that goes today. Uh, it's Friday. Weekend's coming up. Seahawks playing tomorrow against them LA Rams. Hope we can beat them again and advance and see what we play next. Um, it's gonna be tough where we beat if we if we win we're gonna probably have to go at New Orleans my guessing So that could be pretty rough, but all right guys. Let's get in there. Let's do it. Also for, I, I guess one last thing is we have a very special Mountain Dew. I guess we got Mountain Dew major Melon look at that major melon. That's so close to major riot that's ridiculous. I wish they would have told me. That would have been awesome. Major Melon instead of Major Riot. That's fucking epic. Uh, but no, I have no nothing to do with this. But I'm excited to try it on stream here. It looks pretty good. It's supposed to be uh, obviously watermelon flavor. Which I wish they would just turn into a regular flavor. Because they quit doing them colored dews. You know, the last one they made I think was like... Blue? Or was it white? No, it was black. Am Ambrosinus. All right, let's get in here. Probably gonna mulligan this. Probably. Let me think about it a little bit. Uh, all right, here we go. 
zero sugar. That's just the flavor they had, which I don't mind. That's better for you, right? That way I'm not living off sugar my entire life. Oh yeah, that's good. That's some good shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna mulligan. Let's go for it. That's even worse. Shouldn't have mulligan. Down to five. Pretty rough. Go to keep. Put the blood rate on the bottom. And I guess the season pyro. All right, here we go. All right, looks like we have Boros Burn here. So Blood Moon can actually be quite good against Boros Burn. Just got to be a little bit careful here, obviously, with the shocks and the fetches. But I think we can do all right. Especially since I already have Basic Mountain. Just going to take this opportunity to stomp this Monastery Swift Spear. I think that's the best option. It's good to, uh, Blood Moon is good against Boros Burn because white mana, they won't be able to cast the, if they don't have white mana, they won't be able to cast the uh, Lightning Helix and uh, Boros Charm. And any other nasty white spells they got. They don't play any basic planes. This is probably an Eidolon here. Yep, how'd I know? Yay! Well, that's not a bad card to draw. I appreciate that. Let's take our two. Hopefully this slows them down enough. Please, don't have any way... Well, I mean, it's just, it's probably not very good, actually, but, you know. I mean, it's okay. It's not horrible. So hopefully it'll keep them from playing any white cards, like I said. This is the new Sacred Foundry. And it doesn't help when they have creatures instead of spells. Nope. Oh. Rift Bolt. Yes. Yeah, it can be pretty good. I just gotta think how I want to do this. You know, I can't find any green. So I don't want to do... If I do Bolt, Arbor Elf, and Bone Crusher Giant, that's pretty bad. I mean, I would assume the Rift Bolt is just going to slam this Bone Crusher. So he is going to go down to 10. But in response... In response... So he'll go down to 10 if everything goes right. If he targets this, minus 2, 3 for the whatever. I'll be going down to at least 8... Obviously, I'm casting this. If I go down to eight, probably not worth it. Even though it could be a blocker. Oh, eight. If he goes at me with the Rift Bolt, that's five. And then you can have Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt. You know, the game's just over anyways. Just... I'm going to try it. It might be bad.
I like that Art of Rift Bolt. I like the new Art of Rift Bolt. Rift Bolts and Tarmogoyf are one of those weird cards where I actually like multiple arts of. Generally, I'm down on multiple arts. He is taken in me, so he must have Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt. Lava Spike, yep. Yep. So I shouldn't have played the Arbor Elf, I guess. Eh, maybe it won't matter. We'll see here. Yeah. It didn't matter, guys. It just didn't matter. Alright, let's take out uh, three Pillage and a Blood Moon. That's what I always do. Whoa. Three Pillage, Blood Moon, bring in the Weather, the Storms, and my two Bayloths. And this is pretty simple sighting. I like that stuff. How you doing, Gage? Good to ask you. How you doing today? It's a fine day. Uh, it's raining still in uh, Washington. I've got, I got this Mountain Dew you may not have seen. It's called Major Melon. Look at that. Major Melon. Pretty close to Major Riot. I don't know if it's a Walmart exclusive or what. It's not bad. It's watermelon flavored. I wish they would have just made that a regular flavor. Like, they haven't made a new color of Mountain Dew that's like an official, like, regularly produced color that you can get at any store. And uh, I didn't either. I didn't even know they were coming out with it. And then my wife showed up with it, like, a couple days ago. She had a 12-pack. But the last one they had was that... that uh, they had that black Mountain Dew, which I can't remember what it was called, the grape-flavored one. This isn't horrible. I think we keep. Two, three, four. I think it's all right. The only thing I can't cast is my Season Pyro, which if I get Blood Moon on the field, that won't really matter too much. Cream Soda? I'm not the biggest fan, but I've drank it many times. It's it's good, but like if, like if I'd much rather drink something else, <laughs> you know, but I've had Cream Soda. Alright, what am I drawing? Is it something good? It is Lightning Bolt. Oof. I do want that. Oof. God, why? I want that bolt. I can't get Basic Mountain with this. Yeah, I'll draw, I'll top deck the bolt. We'll go like that. They play idle on here uh, on the stack. I'll bolt this. Yeah. So a little bit rough. A little bit rough here. Probably did this all horribly wrong. random text uh so what was that so yeah now we just stomp that and uh, take our two go down to 13 uh i guess i could have played stomp there couldn't i that might have been better uh, maybe i want to stomp during their turn right Yeah, maybe so. 
I just, I don't know, I just bolted. I don't know why I didn't stomp. I probably should have, but this will work out fine, too. What is that noise? Something, something's going on outside. Lava spike. Yes, I take it. All right, I'm going to be down to 10. Probably another Eidolon. No? All right. Yes. B, B, E. Come on, help me out. Help me out. Yeah. Yeah, that's a helpful one. I'll take six life, unless he's got a skull crack. Please don't have a skull crack. Yes. All right, good shit. Uh, should I swing? Why not? Why not? I'm feeling ambitious here after I gained six life. Boros Charm. It's a good one. Boros Charm's an expensive card, I still think. I think it's still like four bucks. I had one that was like misprinted. Like something went wrong and all the all the letters on it were smeared and everything. It was terrible looking. Okay. Let's swing. Down to seven. Blood Moon. This will force any Lightning Helix or Boros Charms out now. There is a Rift Bolt coming. There, there's a Boros Charm. All right, so I'm down to five. Maybe less. Yep, down to five. Does he have bolt skewer? No. Okay. Okay. Come on, uh, whatever, Pyromancer. How about to find me a weather the storm, huh? Scavenging ooze, okay. Anaclothus, that ain't half bad. Eidolon Goblin Guy, that's it. I've only got two to eat currently. Let's get in there, eat that Goblin Guide. They gotta have game now. They gotta have two ways to deal three. There's one. Kaboom. All right. Need to fade a draw step here. What's happening? Is there an additional card I'm not seeing somewhere? Just makes a red for no reason. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
Oh! Oh, the full price skewer. Oh, the shame. Yeah, it was me taking damage off my own stomping ground because of my greediness to get that bolt, which the bolt did help, but it just, I couldn't do it. Oh, dear. Losing to Boros Burn. It's a good deck, I'm telling you. Everyone always disrespects that deck, but that deck is always good. It's a very good deck. It's basically just a combo deck that just deals direct damage. You know? It's a fun deck to play as, and even against sometimes. This guy was last seen playing Mono Red Aggro, so great. More burn style decks. That is what we want to see. Why did you randomly ask me about cream soda? What is that all about? You got a cream soda? Do you like the A&W cream soda or the mug cream soda? Is there other ones too? I don't remember. I know there's A&W. Yeah, this is fine. I'll keep it. Okay, I, this, this does not look like mono red aggro. Ren. It's kind of annoying. We can kill it though. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Yes, bolt. What's up, Tatted? How you doing, man? Glad you're here. Get hype. Really doesn't matter. I'll play this one. No matter what, I'm going to have to shock. Boy, there's some leg there. Some nice hearty leg. Please don't have force negation here. Uh Oh, my bad. I, I got this messed up here. I got it backwards. I'm actually 0-1, not 1-0. I'm 0-1, I lost to Boros Burn, and a real nail-biter, of course. That's how it always is against Burn, usually, unless you're playing, you know, like a slower deck. Um, like, maybe, like, an Amulet Titan or something, at least it used to be. Um, but yeah, I lost to Boros Burn, just barely. Now it looks like I'm against some sort of Uro Pile. Uh, so, 1-1 one one in the league, 0-1 on the day. Um, gonna see how things go here. Looks like we have an Uro showing up right now. You better believe it. It's Uro time, baby. <laughs> Lightning bolt. That's not doing me a lot of good here. Gruel burn. Yeah, you, I mean, you almost could. I think the most interesting version of Gruel we could make that would still be somewhat competitive would be like, uh, oh, it would be, I don't know, maybe like red-green haste creatures. All right, do I want to do the Arbor Elf? Probably. Get that accelerant going. I really don't want to throw up my Season Pyro right now because I like all the cards in my hand. And I'd be searching for a Scavenging Ooze. kind of weak to play a 1-1 uh, one, one on your third turn, but whatever. Yeah, I wasn't thinking of Burning Tree Emissary. I was just thinking of just like like Village Messenger as your one drop. 
It's got haste and can transform into a 2-2. Two -two. And then like uh, Bogart Rammer or something. And then there, there's a whole bunch of red-green cards that have haste. So far, everything out of Kaldheim doesn't look too good for Ponza. Uh, the best card that I think would fit into this deck is that Old Growth Troll. That card seems kind of cool. Be a good Cascade hit. For a 4-4. Four, four. Well, here comes the Uro. We can look forward to this. I can actually kill this Uro. Um, maybe. Okay, so we gotta hope they don't have Force Negation. Because I can actually kill it. Especially with that now. Well, no, that doesn't help it. Alright. There we go. We got him. We did it. <laughs> it was a rough row, but we walked it. Take an Uro out with a nasty two-card combo. Chandra minus Lightning Bolt. I wonder if people in Standard ever got tired of the animation for Uro, where it just takes up the whole top of the screen. It's like... Rawr! Like, what's happening? What on earth is happening here? Like, it's got such a good animation, like, it takes the whole top of the screen, and then its brother or whatever croaks it, just, like, it just, like, its head shows up for a split second. It's like, Bleh. Like, why, why didn't croaks it, like, come out of the ground? Like, since Earl comes out of the top of the screen, takes the whole top, and all the rain fall and everything... Why didn't, why didn't Crooks like just come out of the ground all this lava and like rocks and shit? This is a new flavor of Mountain Dew, by the way. It's kind of personal because it's called Major Melon. Oh no. Oh no. I am not ready for that, folks. We're going to have to kill that. Please do not have Mox Amber. Please. Okay. Alright, we can just bolt this thing now. How much mana do I have? Total of eight. If I'm reading this right. Five, six, seven, eight. So I can do bolt, glory bringer. Yeah, I think that works just fine. Not that I really need the add red here. Okay, do I want to just do Bloodbraid Elf now? I guess we could. Come on, Blood Braid! Yeah, that's a good one. That was a good one there. Okay. So now it is plus. Say no to whatever it gets. No. And then swing with Blood Braid. They go. I forgot to use my Renin 6. I do that a lot when it gets to this start in the game because I'm not really caring about mana anymore, but I should have definitely done something there. That was bad. Bad gameplay there. It's Urza. Dude, why didn't I 
eat that? What the fuck am I doing? How did I not see that shit? That was bad. What the fuck? Oh my god, I forgot there was Uro in his fucking deck. I mean, Gray. God, I'm playing terrible. Whoops. I can actually kill it again. Well. Maybe. That was really a bad mistake on my part. Fuck, what am I doing? Not good. I forgot Renin 6 and I forgot Uro. That's not good. That's quite bad. Oh my god, no. Yeah, there's just no way. So we got... Yeah, I can do Clothis here too. Okay. Yeah, I died to burn. Barely. Just barely. Just barely. You know how it goes. Okay, let's fly over. I totally messed up here, Gage. I could have eaten this Uro, but I totally forgot it was in the grave. Uh, yeah, let's attack Karn. Get him off the field. Got this nasty worm coil coming. All right, say go. That was really bad. I was all excited to get uh, uh, ooze, and I forgot that Uro was in the fucking grave. Ah, oh, Lord. Here comes a worm coil. Oh no, another Uro. All right, I'm definitely gonna eat that. Probably, maybe. Worm coil and Uro. Not good. I could double block this thing. With the uh, Clothis and a uh, Bloodbraid Elf. Yeah, he sees it. Okay. He saw it, folks. Okay, I'm not going to miss this other Uro. All right, another wooded foothills. Exciting. Get that mox amber out of there. Uh, sure. Let's fetch again for another stomping ground. Say yes. Uh. Season pyro, find me that pillage. Make things a lot easier on me. No, of course not. Why would it do that? I guess we untap this stomping ground because I'm going to plus the Chandra minus thing. I could exert on Glorybringer. I mean, exert on Uro and then minus there. Does that do anything? I mean, yeah, it gets rid of that, I guess, so. 
Excuse me for drawing cards. I guess I'll do it. This is going to be a grindy one. All right. Damn it, that will kill my Chandra, though. Yeah, I think we just do it. Wooded Foothills. Play this uh, Armor Elf. And I'm ready. Another different third Uro. Three of the damn things. That's a big ass ooze. <laughs> Not quite that big yet. Sure. All right. What are we looking for here? Underworld Breach, maybe. There's Gilded Goose. It is really raining outside now. It is pouring out there. Sure. So he can make me mill three or six, I guess, with this. I mean, we're getting close to Pyre, I mean, uh, Ren and Six Ultimate, too. So that'd be pretty good with three lightning bolts in the grave. Another glory bringer. You better believe it. All right, let's get these so that way I don't have to worry about, uh, don't cast them. All right, here we go. The question is, do I exert onto the Gilded Goose? Probably. I think that's a smart answer. Uh, that way I can just fly over and not worry about anything like this. It's some sort of weird uh, grinding station, like, artifact mill deck that is also all about Uros and Karns and stuff. It's just a big mishmash of cards. You know, it's one of them decks that just, you know, does whatever it wants to do. Basically, the guy couldn't decide what he wanted his deck to do, so he's just going to go with it. Just cram a whole bunch of cards together. Fails to find a mountain or forest. Excellent. Yeah, it's just something nasty. Just something nasty. Probably wrote down a piece of paper. And I'm going to try this out. And uh, ain't working out so well so far. I mean, he's down to 29 cards in deck. So, I mean, it, it's finding stuff. Target player. Who's he targeting? Targeting himself. Okay. All right, see what he grabs. Gilded Goose, Engineer Explosives, and Misty Rainforest. What's sad is that when this thing does that, I won't be able to eat the Uro out if he gets another one. And get a basic island. Fails to find island or mountain. Excellent. Sure. Make some tokens.
This is kind of nasty what he's got going on here. This is kind of gross. Yeah, it's a combo deck where the combo that I've seen with it is they get Mox Amber with, uh, what's this card from Eldraine called? Emery. They get, not Uro, that one, Emery. And they get Mox Amber to constantly make one, uh, one blue to copy the Emery. And then they just continuously, they just build up blue. It's a hard combo to describe, but it is a combo deck. And, uh... I don't like artifact combo decks. I'm always not happy about them. So yeah, we gotta bring an on grave hate. Whoa, how did I I hate when I do that? I gotta do this again. I just hit uh I gotta find out how to show hidden cards again. Alright, I gotta do that again. Show hidden cards. On MTGO. Far right side. Yes, absolutely. They play, they play fast as Oracle. I found it. Unhide. Why is this even here? You know, like, why would you want to hide? Remove from sideboard. I like the cinder vines as well and the boil. Um, unfortunately, just about everything in my deck is good, <laughs> I feel. Utopia Sprawl, I don't mind taking out. We definitely want Lightning Bowls to get rid of the uh, Emery. Uh, another three. Questing Beast is probably not great. Chandra's all right. Glorybringer can be good. Maybe Bone Crusher, but I do like Bone Crusher. Get rid of Emery. How about we just do some like that? Yeah, it's an interesting combo, uh, Putt or Put. Uh, I don't know how to say your name. Sorry, man. Uh, glad to see you here. It's been a while since I've seen you. Um, yeah, we can't keep this. Uh, it, it's once it starts, you just can't stop it. You know, like any good combo. I'm rolling again down to five. Wow, wow. Uh, I'm gonna keep this and hope for the best. Put on bottom. Put on bottom. Stay done. All right. Help me out, deck. Gilded Goose. Boil. Okay, we're going to get that Emery. I know they're going to play Emery. That's why they played Gilded Goose first. Because Emery will be able to be cast for two mana. Please help, deck. Got two more turns to top deck of land. Just about any land will do it. Just about. Well, it will because a basic force will still give me clothes and I can start doing stuff. Um, I'm sure an Emery's coming here. If not, I'm surprised. There's Mox Amber. There it is. Let's see what it finds. Of course, there's Uro. Looking a little bit rough here. So yeah, he can go. 
fetch. Gilded Goose, Sacrifice. That's still only three mana? Okay. Still only three. One, two, three. Okay. So this is really bad. So you need to kill the Emery because that's a legendary creature and that makes the mana for this. Please land. Please land. Oh boy. Oh boy. Trouble is brewing. The deck hasn't quite failed yet because it still can top deck a land and I won't miss a land drop, right? Deck? Okay. That's not good enough, but we'll play it. At least it gives me some to do. Do I want to plus this or I want to minus it? <laughs> I'll plus it. All right, here comes Zero. We're in trouble now. We are in a lot of trouble. Here we go. It's amazing I won that last game after I forgot to eat an Uro and let it come out. I mean, it was pretty ridiculous. He missed the land there. Okay. I'm surprised he's not using this. Give me a fetch land deck. If he likes what I what he sees, he could. Do, if he if he doesn't like what he sees on top of my deck, he can grind station me and mill into into my grave. Blood moon. Yeah, this game's pretty much over. Really no good answer for anything anymore. So we're just going to see how long it takes for him to kill me. Interesting, I had a mulligan twice, and the total amount of lands I saw in three top sevens was four. No fetch lands either, I think. Still doesn't have a land. Takes out my Renin Six. Makes sense. In case I top deck a fetch land. Has anybody ever heard someone call them instead of a fetch land, they call them fetch lind? I used to deal with guys like that, like fetch lind. Like I believe it's fetch land, but hey man. Whatever you want to do. There's Underworld Breach. And now he's got the combo almost. Oh, he does. He's got the, he's got the arrow. So we make him do the whole combo. You know, we're ahead on clock here. And uh, hang back, chill, relax, enjoy. Underworld Breach is banned in Legacy, right? Yeah, he just does this combo where he just constantly loops. And uh, 
pretty annoying. Because you can do the Underworld Breach for the Mox Amber at zero escape cost. Right? No, he's still gotta do he's still gotta do three, yeah. Just zero mana. So it's just basically infinite as long as he Yeah, I don't know what happened uh with Simic. We have blue green, they just went nuts for it in standard. Like every card, I mean it was Oko followed by Uro. Oko then Uro. Just remember that for the rest of your life. Where somebody at Wizards of the Coast had a particular fetish for blue green. I bet you the same guy. What if we found out the same developer designed Oko and Uro? Think how ridiculous that would be. I have to hide his face forever. You know? Like, this isn't scummy at all on MTGO. Like, if, if this was happening in paper, I would just immediately concede, because I've seen the combo. Even though... Oh, there's Thassa's Oracle, so it's there. And, uh... But in, on MTGO, you got to win within the time limit. That's just an extra rule we have. Plus, it's faster, because there's no shuffling or nothing. It's just, it does everything automatically. I mean, it just dumps three cards. I mean, take, taking one, two, three on top of your deck actually does take about two, three seconds. So, you know, it does, it does save you a few seconds here. So, I don't care. We're just sitting here, hanging out, talking about how bad Uro and Oko are. How bad we've been scarred and lost faith in Wizards of the Coast. Make him do the whole damn thing. It'll be over quickly, guys. I think we only got five cards left in deck. They just got to do it, uh, what, one more time? Should be enough. Because we'll have Devotion. Yeah, they'll have three here, and they only got two cards left in deck. And there we go. All right. Okay. Let's play again. <laughs> yes, I let it go first. My God, help me, deck. Ugh. I think I'm willing to keep. Got the bolt there for the Thassa, I mean the Emery. I'm willing to go here. Got a pillage. Got a little goose. The goose is loose. This card is absurdly strong. Nobody talks about it. It's been a very long time that Standard got a card that just basically gave him one extra mana. You know, just for tapping, basically. It's not bad. Um, see if we see an Emery here. Probably will. It's always got Emery. The old Gilded Goose into Emery. Oh, it's just Uro. Okay. We still save our bolt, though. I'm not too concerned about Gilded Goose. Oh, okay. There's a land. All right. Yeah, I'm still going to play uh, Blood Moon here. Just make it more difficult when we're going to get Uro out. They have not yet played a counter spell. So I'm waiting for it. All right.
We could do Emery here. We'd have to bolt that. That'd make things difficult. Because I have to bolt it. You just can't leave Emery on the field. It's just way too good. Okay. That's not exactly nice. All right, definitely killing Karn now. <laughs> Not letting that thing get out. So we gotta hit this forest with the pillage. Another Arborel. So yeah, we'll hit that pillage. I mean, we'll hit this forest. I could get rid of grinding station. Maybe that's smarter. So let's think here. Okay, so we put the forest in the graveyard. He can make, he can do right now, no, yes, he still can. He can go Gilded Goose in response, tap the green, make a food. I kill the forest. Next turn, he plays, he sacrificed Chromatic Star, making a green. Then he sacrifices the food, making another green. That'll give him enough to get Uro out. So I don't see a way out of this. Unless I cannot kill the Gilded... Wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What if I kill Gilded Goose? Okay, what if I do Gilded Goose here? Kill Gilded Goose. He still makes a token... He's got a green, and he still gets he still gets the damn Uro out, right? Because yeah, he sends that in. Pays a red, sends that in. That's six. Makes a green. Yeah, there's just no way I can stop it. I just cannot stop the damn Uro. Can't do it. So I think we just need to probably still pillage that basic forest. You know, make it as difficult as possible on him. And uh, hope for the best. I could try Bloodbraid Elf. What could that do me? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the pillage. I mean, this is very difficult here. We know what's going on. Yeah, maybe, maybe that. Maybe, maybe you're right. Yeah, try to get grave hate, but. What can you do? I mean, what are the odds I would have found Grave Hate? I guess we'll find out if I top deck it, right? So yeah, he's just gonna go green, green. Yeah, that's so good. Gilded Goose. Yep. Well, I'll feel dumb if I top if the if, if the top card of my deck is a uh, is a relic or a scoos or a. Uh, or a Graph Digger's Cage. Oh no. 
fuck. I should brought an Oofy too. I think I forgot to bring an Oofy. We're dead. It's over. God, they found the combo. Like that's ridiculous. God damn it. They got it. It's over. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I'll have to draw a card and see what my top was, you know, and uh, find out if it was um, Graph Digger's Cage or Relic or Scooze. Yeah, I forgot to bring my Oofy. There's just so many cards to deal with this deck. You, know, you got Boils, you got uh, Grave Hate, you got uh, Cinder Vines. I need to bring an Oofy. I think I forgot to bring him in. Oh well. I don't think I did. I think I forgot him. I think I forgot the guy. Doesn't matter. I mean, doesn't matter here. I would not maybe not never found him. But yeah, I, I forgot to bring him in, I think. I guess I could look. I don't like using the sideboard sheet. Oh no, Oofy. No, he's right there. Yeah, I did forget to bring him in. So yeah, I should have sided out. More bone crushers. So. Game is over. I can't believe he found the combo off fucking Uro. Like, just one extra draw, he found the whole fucking combo. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Gilded Goose is so strong. You know, I thought Gilded Goose was a severe problem in Standard when I was watching people bitch and complain about Standard. And they were like, this Uro... This, this, uh, whatever, uh, Oko and everything. I'm like, dude, Gilded Goose is causing this to get really out of control, and nobody blamed the Goose. I guess the Goose was just, it was Gilded, and nobody blamed it for anything. Like, for real. Just a benevolent Goose. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oofy is, but for whatever reason, I forgot. I forgot Oofy, um, to bring in. So, that's my bad. I deserve this loss. Uh, oh well. <laughs> oh well. Imagine playing this kind of deck. This is just another deck where I just watch them. I'm just like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Devotion to blue right now would only be three. He has to do it one more time. There you go. You got it. Yep. All right. Who knows if I've ever drawn that Ophi? Oh, I forgot to look. Can I can I go back to the game? Okay. Would have been Lightning Bolt, so Bloodbraid Elf wouldn't have done anything. All right. Whoa. Okay. Oh, one two on the day. Rough stuff. Basically complaining against two combo decks. Burrow's Burn is almost a combo deck. Just string together a bunch of cards that do three damage. You win. And then, of course, our real combo deck. <sighs> I'm struggling with mulligans. I restocked on Mountain Dew. I got two cases of Dew over there. I'm switching to cans. going to lower my Dew intake just a little from 16-ounce bottles to 12-ounce cans. It'll give me an extra year of life expectancy, I think. That's just my estimates. That's not scientific. That's not doctor. That's just me. Like, I think I think that helps. <laughs> I only drink Mountain Dew when I'm playing Magic. Normally, I just drink water all day. You know, usually it's a special occasion or some. And uh, but Mountain Dew is really tasty with Magic. I've found uh, that's why we have a Mountain Dew uh, dispensary or uh, vending machine fridge at my LGS 
Uh, and we love to do the do. Some people, you know, they get in there and they get their fucking, like, orange Fanta. It's like, dude, that's not magic. Mom Quest. Oh, this gal, uh, I think this is a gal. She plays uh, Jund. She's in the Jund Discord. And, uh, let's see here. Definitely keep and see how things are going. Yep, definitely John. Blackly Cliffs, Vexing Devil. All right. So we'll see if Arbor Elf can survive. All right, here we go, Arbor Elf. Please live. Scavenging is a good draw. I like it. Golgari Swarm. I don't think I've ever seen someone use that one before. I think I think this person, if she's a gal, I think she is. Croxa? Okay. Alright, let's ditch this glory bringer. Uh, she uses Golgari Queen, uh, Braska as well in the Discord. A lot of bolt action. Gonna eat that, uh... Croxa right now. I ain't gonna give it a chance. No way. Uh-uh. Get out of here. <laughs> they play Liliana here, I'll sacrifice the Arbor Elf. They made me discard, I'll get rid of one of my lightning bolts. Uh, no green mana. So maybe this is just red-black mid-range? Rakdos? It might be. Colligan's Command, okay. Oh, you returned Vexing Devil to, from... Okay, I was wondering what happened there. All right, let's swing on in. All right, they're at 16. They take a hefty four from the ooze. Yeah, I wonder if this isn't even Jund. And Marsh Flats, I mean, what the hell? No! Damn it, no! Yeah, I, I just, if they play a creature, I want to bolt it. Otherwise, I'd eat one of these in case there is a goif. Do you wish to take four damage? Yes. Eh, I could bolt this and say no. I guess I'll say no and just bolt it. Oh, Guano, how you doing? Yeah, uh, yeah, I haven't really thought about that too much. I know a lot of people, uh, they sent me stuff. They, I, I mean, you know, guys on YouTube are sending me, like, messages and shit about it. Um, so I had to lie 
And uh, they were like, who is that guy? And I was like, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I have no idea who that guy is. And because I didn't know that was the, the beginning of a internet mob. And uh, Rhett made you read the Riot Act. I kind of like that. It's a good pun there. Um, but, you know, um, but uh, they, uh, yeah, they weren't too happy. I don't, I'm not saying they were like, like enraged or something. I don't know what was going on. But regardless, another bolt. Wow. Uh, regardless, um, you know. Yeah, it's just, I wasn't upset by it too much. It was just, it, it felt kind of targeted, you know, like, like, you know, you know who I am and stuff, and you know what I think about stuff a lot of times. And uh, I think he just came in, it, it looked like he just came in to try and kind of start something. And whether that was your intention or not, uh, you know, uh, that's, you know, I, I'm not going to say anything else on that. But, you know, all I can say is about that is like if I like during that whole thing that was going on in Washington and Wisconsin and all that, those places, um, it, it, I never went on to your channel and asked you what you thought was going on and how do you explain for those people because they're on your side, you know, allegedly. And it was just a really bad look for you, Guano, if you're still here. And, you know, I don't know. Generally, I've found when people do that kind of stuff, when they come into someone's stream chat and they kind of say stuff like that's kind of, you know, uh, you, you know, kind of, like trying to almost rile them up a little bit because I said multiple times that I did not agree with what happened in Washington, D.C. But at one point, I've watched the video. You said something like, I think, I'm starting to think you like this stuff. And I just ignored it. And, and uh, uh, yeah, it was just, you know, it wasn't good. And I'm just going to let it be and, you know, they haven't bugged me about it in a, since you did it a couple days ago, so I'm not too worried about it. And uh, just if, if some bad's going on in your life, is what I'm trying to say. Like that made you have to do that or whatever. I like this bringing all their basics. It must be Rakdos. Uh, then you know maybe you need to stay off the internet for a week or something. I don't know what's going on. If you lost your job or you know separation or death of a loved one which if any of that's going on I, I i'm sorry for you i mean that's terrible i'm really sorry about that and uh i'll let him play vexing devil that's fine but anyways guano i uh, hope you're doing all right and don't 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 think i'm enraged i i really don't you know i'm used to that kind of stuff people i've been banned from from discourse just because they found out that I'm a rural conservative white guy. I mean, it sucks. I mean, it sucks waking up in the morning, go to work, and somebody leaves you a message on Discord that says on one of the channels you're on, I found out who you are, and then I'm just banned. I mean, that's bullshit. Like, straight up. And uh, I'm used to it. But anyways, getting back to this game. It's going to be a long, grindy game, I'm feeling. I'm feeling it. Probably especially if I draw land here, which I do. Oh, I wasn't pissed. I wasn't upset. I, I was disappointed. I was disappointed that you came in here and kind of like took aggression out on me. Just randomly. You know, I would never do something like that to you. And I had opportunities. I could have been like, look what look what the people that vote with your party are doing. They're out there in Wisconsin burning stuff down. Explain, you know. But I don't need to do that to you because I think you're a good guy. So why would I need to go to your channel and bug, bug you about that? It doesn't make any sense. I definitely want to keep one red up. And, uh, you know, 
And I, I, I think you were upset that I said they're like the same thing, right? The rioting in Seattle and that kind of stuff. And you can disagree with me all you want. I, I don't support any form of rioting or whatever is going on in the world. I mean, that's bad. But to me, it's the same ends. It's people in Seattle, Wisconsin, Portland, they're mad and they want to do something and they're going to go hurt something because they didn't get their way, right? And that's what the guys in D.C. did. And, and, and it's not like the Seattle one was harmless. A guy was murdered, okay? A, an 18-year-old black guy was murdered. A police officer trying to put out a fire was had got brain damage from a brick being thrown into his face. How does that? How is that good in any way? And uh, it's just the way things are in society in this day and age. Is this enough to make them concede? No. Maybe they're waiting to see what Blood Ray would get. But this is some some hefty firepower here. But. I agree, Gage. I hate cancel culture. Uh, I think it's just way, way out out of line, you know. I mean, there's no reason to cancel some of the stuff they are. Because everyone's always cool about cancel culture until it affects them, right? Eventually, someday, you will find yourself in the middle of that. Or something you like will be taken away. Rakdos, I mean, I guess we bring in these. Bring in the Bayloth. That's really about it. Take out... Blood moons are horrible here. Eh, maybe they're not too bad. This person knows what they're doing, though. They they know what's up. They don't... They don't have Tarmogoyfs. That's the thing, too. But they probably have... Scourges? I don't know. It's interesting. I don't really... I'm going to leave two Blood Moon in. It may be really stupid. I'm going to go for it. But anyways, Guan, if you're still here, I appreciate you coming by and apologizing. I'm not enraged or pissed or nothing. I was just annoyed and, like, disappointed <laughs> that I was, like, targeted kind of like that, you know. And nobody's talked to me in days about it. Like, it was just that one day where I was getting stuff from people where they were like, who the fuck is this? And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. And that's all I said to him. I didn't say anything else. You know, you can watch that YouTube video where that's going down. And uh, it's real short. There's not much of a YouTube video about it. And uh, I never said nothing about you. And, uh, you know, nobody sent me any clips about you talking about me. So I don't have to worry about it. So I'm good. So well, everything's going good for you. And hopefully you got out of your, your funk there that you said you were in. And, uh. You're doing good. And no, Gage, you didn't miss anything. There was really not that much drama. You know, it really isn't. Like, on a scale of, of 1 to 10, uh, 1 to 10, I'd say it was like a fucking, like, maybe a 2. Yeah, I don't remember you calling me a terrorist, but <laughs> at one point you said, you did say that um, you think that you were starting to think I liked what happened in Washington, D.C. So that's probably where he's getting that from. But yeah, I, if you would have called me a terrorist, I just would have banned you. I would have just been like, no, we're done here. I'm not putting up with that. Um, you know, that would just be out of the line. You know, you don't come in and make accusations like that. And... Uh, I don't know what's going on with that guy. I have no idea who that is. Apparently I'm always more popular than I think I am, but I'm never as popular as I hope to be. Okay. I'm sure this is going to get bolted or pushed, but that's what we do. All right, well, that's cool, man. I'm glad that you had a good convo, and, uh, you know, just the best advice I could say from this is just remember everybody has different opinions on things, and you shouldn't take it too harshly. Uh, I had to learn that when I first started streaming here, guys would send me, I don't have a Twitter for this very reason, guys were sending me, like, links to, like, Magic the Gathering players that I liked, 
to their Twitter and they would say crazy things. Like straight up like Soviet Union communist propaganda. And it was disturbing, but you know, Dragon's Claw. That's an interesting side card against me. It could be good. Could be all right. Yeah, we'll do Virgin Catacombs. But just don't, <laughs> don't be so, so bummed about things. It's gonna be fine. I'm not worried about it. So I guess they're gonna gain one life of this Clothis. And hopefully I can get the glory bringer. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a fan of Karns. I tried it once and it just I, I I'm not into artifact stuff. Like I know other people are really into it, but man, I just like good old fashioned mid range. What? That's fine. What about Uro and Clothis? I don't like Uro. He's not a, he's not a time on my list of hated cards as a lot of people's. Like Uro's like bad, like it's really annoying, but I can still eat it with ooze and handle with relic. So I'm not too terribly upset. Starting to get a little rough here. <laughs> Please don't have any more pillages, dude. Or lady. Oh, uh, I don't really have much opinion on that stuff. Um, it's just, they're Jund colors, so I just don't know why people just don't play Jund. You know, I mean, you'll never convince me that it's not Jund because it's Jund colors. People are like, well, we'll have Blood Moons in it. Well, I remember for a while it was Hot Thing and Jund to have Blood Moons in the side. You know, so it's still going to be Jund. But if you want to call it Black Ponza, go for it. I'm not gonna, <laughs> not going to, like, throw a fit over it. Oh, no. Oh, noes. All right. That's not good. It's going to be a tough match. This person has a very strange Rakdos mid-range. Yep. Dead. Absolutely dead. All right, well. I could use a lightning bolt here. But Clothis is all right. Yeah, I mean, tip alts great and everything I mean it's it's all right like I don't know uh, can you cascade into its into its uh, into its planeswalker I think I read somebody saying you can do that shit yeah can I want to play Uro because Clothis is one of those cards whether it's great or lame Here, Uro is great all the time Uro is great all the time, as long as you're not facing down a Relic. But same with Clothis. Clothis is pretty rough against Grave Strategies. Or anti-Grave Strategies. And, uh... That is interesting. So, you know, you just put it in... You just put it in Jund. Just put it in Jund, and you already play Bloodbraid Elf. That's really interesting. You can choose either side of the card? That's crazy. It's front side, though. You think you don't be able to cast the front side? Are they gonna actually get to cast that? I hope not. I wanna swing into this thing. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Now I feel really special, Gage. I'm the only person. How about that? Damn it. Well, I can top deck a land. I can eat a land and then fly with Glorybringer, killing this and this. That's the hope. Or top deck questing beast. Either one of those would be great. But regardless, I think I gotta eat a land here. Land? Not a land. Uh 
Uh, yeah, let's go red. Come on, blood braid. Six here. I think we do it. Toss out a uh, obstinate Bailoth and uh, Glorybringer. Okay. So could have Terminate, could have Lightning Bolt, cannot have Revolt Push here. They do not have any creatures. Yeah, I mean, I, I've had a lot of weird cards into a Cascade within Jund, you know. I think that Blood Raid Elf is one of the strongest cards ever printed, and it's awesome. So anybody, anybody who has that, doing all right. Let's kind of keep their graveyard low if possible. Okay, now they do Revolt Push. All right. They don't know I have another one. <laughs> they don't know about that one, guys. So now I'm free to eat and try to negate some of their life gain to get enough Dragon's Claw. I took out my Pillages, so I have no way to destroy that. Hopefully they only have one. I can get through one, but a second... A second one is pretty rough. Okay, here we go. Another one, sure. Oh. He's working this hard because he's keeping card advantage with this Chandra. All right. Probably would take the Blood Braid. Tor yeah, avoid Teferi, the Time Raveler. Such bad card design. Who thought being that your opponent can't cast instants at just a con continuous effect, or what do they call that in Magic? In Yu-Gi-Oh, it's continuous effect. Static effect, I think we call it in Magic. Um, they take the Chandra. Okay. All right, here we go. Questing Beast would be a good draw. It is Season Pyro. All right, let's go. All right, no problem, Guano. I don't think I'm going to hear any more about it. Like, period. Like, nobody's going to say nothing. I, I only average, like, two, three viewers at best. And my YouTube videos get, like, 20 to 40 views at best. So, I, I don't think... I think they're done. Hopefully, they don't have anything here after seeing this. But, uh, uh, but I mean, <laughs> if you want them, I'll send them to you. But hopefully, nobody come asking. But uh, thanks for showing up, man. Thanks for talking. And I uh, hope you have some good streams in the future, too. Thanks for stopping by, man. All right. So what do we find this time? Another Clothis. Uh, yeah, we cast it even though it gives them an extra life. We just cast to get it out of the deck. They cannot get rid of the Clothis unless it turns into a creature and they have Dismember. So I will give them an extra life. Keep. Go. Everything at Chandra. That way he's got Bolt. He blocks. We're just getting rid of this thing. Get rid of it. Don't want this around. I figured he'd do something like that. That's fine. He or she. I keep forgetting this might be a girl. Let's 
Did not find anything? Okay. All right. Discard a card. I don't know why he's not doing that right now. I have not lost any life. <laughs> I mean, this is a weird game. This is turn seven, and we both have full or more life. And it's not like we haven't been casting things. No! What the hell, dude? That's hella good Colgan's command. Uh, you, you think Tibble's going to be that expensive? He very well might be. I don't know. Seven mana is a lot, even for standard. Damn, that was one hell of a fucking... Oh, that's another really good draw, though. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I'm just going to attack with just Questing Beast. I think that's okay. May have taken out their Croxa. I haven't seen it yet. Not a bad decision. Just got to worry about this card going nuts. Yeah, okay. What are the exiled cards? Dark Confidant and Blackly Cliffs? Yeah, Scourges. I don't have any Scourges either. And that is an expensive card, especially online. It's like 20 something dollars a piece online, I think. No! No. Stop. At least they took damn four damage for it. It's going to be a slow death for the opponent at this rate. No cards in hand. I guess we bolt this thing. I mean, yeah, we have to. I'm thinking about return, uh, retiring Grixis Death Shadow and just going uh, with Rakdos Shadow. Like, for real. Like, Grixis Shadow is incredibly difficult to play. Maybe Rakdos. He didn't use its effect. Interesting. Um... You know, so maybe I will. All Rakdos and Jun Shadow variants minus two Scourges. Yeah, I, I really like Grixis Death Shadow, but what a challenge. What a challenging deck. But when you win, it's so satisfying. And uh, I wouldn't mind trying Rakdos Shadow. You know, it sounds pretty sweet. All right, we just got to kill him with the, uh, with the, uh, Clothis here at this rate. I will attack with Seasoned Pyromancer. Um, seems good. I doubt it'll block. Oh, we got that too. Okay. Oh, you're right. You're right, Stormy. Or not Stormy. Why did I call you that, Gage? Uh, you are absolutely right. They do need to discard. It's not as good as I was thinking. Absolutely correct.
Okay, where were we at? I just had to type the message because they asked him about uh, the Jun Discord. Jun Shadow? That's even more complicated, probably. <laughs> I, I, I just enjoy the uh, the Grixis version because of the sweet ass thought scour and uh, and uh, Gurmag Angler I really enjoyed Dark Confidant that is not what you want to see That is what you want to see, though. All right, Blood Bray, let's finish this off. Maybe. Yeah, sure. I actually will turn on Clothis. So that should be the game. Yep, that's game. We did it! We won a match today against Rakdos. Hooray! <laughs> Varlaws? What is Varlaws? Is that a new card? I don't know. Which one are we talking about? All right. Last one of the day, guys. Oh, from Dragon's Maze? I don't know. I have to look that card up. Is it... Is it blue? One and two on the day. Looking good there. Not really. Trying to go three and two in this league. This will be the last Ponza match for a week, over a week probably. Going to Jun next week. It's been a fun nine week ride on only Tonza. We've done quite well at a 50 plus percent win rate. So things are going good. Oh good, He's playing. the last thing he was seen just eight days ago was Heliod Company. That's a good way to send me out, huh, guys? Sure, I'll keep. Keep. It doesn't look like it's Heliod Company anymore. Probably just another nasty ass Uro pile. Still be Heliod, I guess. Dragon's Maze is like the worst damn set ever. Yeah, I don't know. I have to look it up. Which one is it? It says. No, oh, Vara Laws. Okay, there it is. Card. Varls, the Scar, Stripes. Here it is. Control where each creature card in your graveyard has Scavenge. The Scavenge cost is equal to this man's cost. Sacrifice another creature, regenerate. I, I probably have seen this card. It sounds very familiar. So it's probably some sort of Heliod combo here. With this shit going on. Which one to stomp? I, I'm going to go with the Hierarch. It gives Exalted. Even though this goes to every color, but I'm going to go with the Exalted one. This one does have flying, so it can block a glory bringer later on. You get encountered. There we go. Look at that shit. I don't know what I'm up against here. Now it's not Heliod. I have no idea. What am I looking at here? Some sort of disgusting Uro pile, I'm sure.
Dude, I have no idea. Interesting. Ah, fuck, I hate doing this. I wish I got another basic, I wish I got a basic forest. Damn it. Yeah, we just gotta do it at this point. Not looking good here. Up against some sort of weird deck again. Something with Uro in it, I'm sure. 100% sure it's Uro. You know what? It's actually probably a Soul Flare. Or whatever it's called. That's probably what this is. Okay. That's very rude, but all right. I hate doing this, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Just bolt a fairy. Got blood right next turn if this arbor elf can survive. Looks like they're flooding a little bit. Blood moon, I just want to get a arbor elf going here. I mean a blood braid elf. Come on, blood braid. Yeah. Sure, that way when I play this Blood Moon, they can all fall off. Swing hard here. Get in there. Scavenger news time. Oozing it up. Not oozing it up. Now I regret having all these stupid... I mean, Blood Moon's just dead anyway. The Blood Moon's not doing a goddamn thing. I've seen this deck flood a lot. Oh. Well, I do have the Pillage. I'm ready. I do have pillage available. Yep. Blur ringer it is. Try to exert onto the stone forge. Glorybringer does not. Yeah, they can't equip at instant speed. Okay. All right. They'll probably give it to Ice Fang Kotal, I would assume. Yep. Here it comes. A fucking 4-4. Four, four. I'm gonna kill my Blood Braid. Yep. Yeah. 
Wow. <laughs> All right. God damn. God damn. Oh my god, what a draw. Okay, so. Like so, let's pillage first. Hitting that. Oh, fuck. God damn, dude. What the hell? Man, I wish I would have made one of these green. Oh well. All right. We got actually have a somewhat of a shot here with the scavenging ooze. As long as ooze doesn't die, we might be okay. Maybe. So we can go, we got six, eight mana. So uh, this thing's gonna be a five, basically doing seven damage. So I gotta get this up enough, my life up enough to, uh... yeah, I know, Uro, dude, but I got him, I ate him. Dude, I just can't, can I? <sighs> okay, so let's think here. I should have fetched first. Maybe not. I have no idea that Winota combo works, but I've seen it do disgusting things, especially in standard. But I think I even got killed by it in modern one time. Okay, so we gotta go discard both creatures. That could be up to six. That's still not enough. That's absurd. Oh my god, there's pillage. There's pillage. Holy shit. Holy shit. I think I still die, though. Oh my god, I still die. I still die because I go down to fucking one. I go down to one... And I kill the damn Sword of Fire and Ice, but I still flies over for three. So I can now eat two. That put me up to six, but this thing's just going to be an eight, dealing eight fucking damage. So yeah, I can't do it. I cannot find a way to win. That fucking Force of Negation killed me. Again, Force of Negation killed me. Again. No, wait, he's only got two Noble Hierarchs. Hold up here. If I eat two, I thought he had three. This is a bird's. So he'll go up to seven? Yeah, I still can't do it. I'll die by one. Oh, God. Why? Yeah, I just can't quite do it. No! No, damn it. Damn it, no. Shameful.
Absolutely shameful. Yeah, I mean, he just does seven damage. I just cannot deal with that. Stupid ass Ice Fang killed me. It did every bit of damage this game. With these stupid ass hierarchs on them. God, the, the force negation got me too. God damn it. All right, collector roof, get in. So apparently, some sort of stone blade. Cinder vines, get in. Graveyard hate, get in. Blood moon, yeah. Pillage needs to stay. Blood moon is pretty weak here, I think. It's okay, but man, there's a lot of. Uh, you know, stuff going on. I think I take out some sprawls. Let me take out all my sprawls. Bring in one anger. I think that's okay. Go for something like that. Sure. I don't like sprawls in these type of matchups sometimes because they're just a little grindy. Uh, that's a mulligan. That's also a mulligan. That is a mulligan to four. That's a keep, and it's actually halfway decent. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Mulligan to four. Yep. Four against eight. Does that sound fun, guys? Well, there's another land. We're getting snow again. We gotta have anti snow. More lands. Now all I can draw is lands. Not good. Not good at all. Bull to four and then only top deck lands. Another Oofy. All right, let's get the swing in. Swing it. They're still afraid of the Blood Moon. I did side them out. Just because, you know, I don't want to try and be dealing with Blood Moon and all these nobles and birds of paradise. It's probably wrong to take them out. I don't know. I mean, just look at this. Seem good to you? Probably got an Ice Fang. 
lying in wait. I would assume. All right, that's a good draw. Come on, Blood Braid. Sure. A hard force negation there. So he's probably still. Do I attack with everything here? I mean, he could have Ice Fang still, right? No, Ice Fang is green blue. Okay, let's swing with everybody. Probably a path, though. Celestial Purge, okay. Better than path for the opponent. <laughs> Damn it. I'm gonna get a land out of that. I just lose my blood braid. Man, they're at seven. Pillage? Could use your help. Arbor Elf, you're not fucking pillage. The hell is wrong with you, Arbor Elf? Why do you show up right now? Pillage. Glorybringer. Cinder Vines. Yeah, I mean, there's just nothing I can do here. I can't block that thing. I guess I could triple block it there, but... Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Oh my god, another Celestial Purge. I'm going to take it. I'm going to go down to three and uh, over a Pillage or a Cinder Vines here. It's another land. That's exciting. That is extra exciting. Mulligan to four. And I'm still, like, in the game. I am a resilient, stubborn player. Nobody can say anything other than that. They say, my God, that guy just won't give up. No. No. I can still win this. I think. Block, please. There we go. God, we had him all the way down to seven. Glory bringer. We're going to try it, folks. We're going for it right into all this counter magic. Oh, my God. Here comes a really mean Aether Gust or a Path to Exile. Okay, all right, yes. All right, I mean, we're still alive. We're still alive, guys. Still here. Still trying. Okay, that's probably death. Well, this is a fun way to send Ponza packing. Nine weeks, last day, go one and three. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's sad. That's really sad. Yep. Yeah. All right, I mean... Pillager bust here. Lightning bolt. It's got a bolt of Jace. All right. 
we're still alive. Look at that. I can block one more time. I guess I'm dead. Damn it! <laughs> Just gonna attack alone. No. Well, folks, Ponza leaves after nine weeks of continuous play on a whimper. Go one and three on the day. Lots and many, many mulligans. Take a good look at the deck. There it is. There is the Ponza. You guys can't see, but there's the deck. Ponza will be back. But for whatever reason, on its last day, it decided it just did not want to really function. I mean, it ran hard against uh, Boros Burn. It barely lost there. Lost to a combo deck that they they didn't have until they got that extra draw of the fucking Uro that I forgot to eat. So that's my fault. And there, just I had a mulligan to four. Mulligan to four to even have a decent hand. You know? I, maybe I should have kept five. I don't know. We tried. Tried the best we could. I haven't come up with the list. I want to play with Jund yet. Haven't really thought of it. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure what I'm playing, but I'm going to mess around with a couple cards. But uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. I'm not going to be on tomorrow because the Seahawks are playing the Rams. I know Gage here wants to cheer on the Rams because he hates the Seahawks so bad, but that's fine. I really hope the Seahawks can win. I think they will, but they've let me down many times before. Um, so, hoping to have that happen. Uh, let's, let's say thanks for everyone for watching. Uh, shout outs to Thek Gage, uh, Guano Maestro, uh, Putt XE4, Tatted Marvel, and uh, the MGG bot and the Knight bot. And. Uh, for hanging out and chatting with me. It's good times. My Super Bowl pick to win the whole thing, Buffalo Bills. I'm going Buffalo. My Super Bowl prediction matchup will be Buffalo versus Green Bay. Uh, but my dream is Buffalo versus Seattle. Those are my two favorite teams. Buffalo is my second favorite team after Seattle. So that would be the dream Super Bowl. And uh, you may notice that Buffalo is involved in all of them. Not only because I love the Bills, because they're just lovable losers for all these years. Um, but they're just really good this year, too. So, looking forward to that. I'm thinking the Bills are going to go all the way. I really do. Like, think about last year, Kansas City won the whole thing. They were a two-seed. It's a little bit tougher because the two-seed's got to play three games now instead of just two. But I think the Bills can do it. I, I, I just don't think the Bills are going to get stopped. Um... If they do, it'll be in some weird shenanigans like in a Super Bowl or something. They'll lose to, like, the Seahawks. <laughs> you know, which I'd be okay with. I'd be like, yeah, I'll take that, Bills. But you've lost as many Super Bowls as the Broncos now. Uh, but anyways, uh, guys, thanks for watching. It's been nine weeks of Ponza. That's a lot longer than anybody has seen, except for maybe Giglio. And uh, unlike Giglio, I still believe this deck is quite good. I think there's at least 50 decks in Modern that can win a major tournament. I do not believe in the facts that, you know, there's only two or three good decks in Modern. I just don't think that's true at all. There are a couple decks that are a little bit better than all the others, but they're not that far above. Um, the best deck is obviously Earl Omnath, but even that deck's not unbeatable. And uh, I think Ponza is decently positioned. I just don't really know what that means. Because when you think about it, like, what does that mean for any deck? Decently positioned. Does that mean, like, Ad Nauseam is always good because it's a ridiculous combo? Does that mean Boros Burn is always good because it's just so tried and true? Uh, you tell me. I just don't like saying that stuff about Modern. It's just the card pool is too massive. And we don't have, obviously, broken cards like Force of Will or the Moxes and Vintage. So I think Modern is a perfect format. Uh, I, yeah, I also don't like the playoff structure. I don't like expanding playoffs. Uh, the NFL playoffs, I thought, were perfect um, because 
all the teams that got in, you knew were good. You know, it's funny they went to seven teams and they said no ten and six teams shouldn't make it this time because we expanded it seven, and one doesn't make it. The Dolphins, right? They were ten and six, so poor Dolphins. It's like that one year the Patriots missed the playoffs. The last time they did before this one, they were eleven and five and they missed the playoffs. That's that's crazy. So. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll be back on Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific time with Jun, not Hansa. You heard that right. Um, if you watched on Twitch, please consider following. If you watch on YouTube, please consider subscribing. Either one would be great, or you don't have to do it all. It's fine, too. I'd like to uh, remind everybody to stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, and social distance if possible. Make sure if you're going to watch all six football games to really veg out, get yourself some good snacks. Uh, hydrate, of course. And uh, have a plan in, pay in case you just really have to blow up a bathroom and you've only got one bathroom. I have two bathrooms, so I'm good. Uh, hope you guys had fun watching. I didn't do too well, but that's how it goes sometimes. And I will catch you guys on Monday if you still are interested in watching me play a different deck. All right, Gage, you have a good night too. And everybody, be safe out there. Peace!